What did you think of the meeting? Well, you know, uh, I'm somewhat disappointed. Um, the governor didn't really answer the questions uh, like uh, we hoped that he would. Uh, he seems to be okay with uh, whatever these farmers negotiate. And the, the, the truth is, one side has a gun to the head, and the other, the other side's holding the gun. And so, uh, the, the way we got in this pickle with closing down 695,000 acres, uh, which was uh, from the Department of Water Resources, in one of the better, wa best water years we've had in the last decade, is because they did this in 2015, and nobody knew they were doing it. The same groups are back at the table, um, and I think they need some, some help from the legislature and the governor, and it doesn't appear like they're going to get it. What do you think of all the tractors showing up here in a convoy to come out? I think it's really awesome, uh, the, the, the farming community are coming together. Believe me, they want to be farmers. They don't want to be involved in politics, but um, you, you, you tell them they're going to shut down their farms. Thousands and thousands and thousands of acres are going to be shut down. Uh, it gets everybody's attention, but more than the farmers, this, is this, entire, this entire community is going to be impacted by what the, uh, these negotiations are, are, are doing right now, and uh, it doesn't look like the governor is going to weigh in on it. Seems, it seems like he's, he's satisfied with closing down. But, uh, he didn't say how many acres, but uh, clearly he's okay with closing down a major part of our farm ground. and that's. Uh, um, he says he doesn't want to see it, but he says this is part of Idaho. It's been happening for years, and we're going to continue to do it. And that's, I'm really disappointed that that's his position.